Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of OP Prison and today we are actually just going to be doing a bunch of random stuff uh, for the actual, you know, just for the actual episode because I don't really have anything planned for today's episode. I just really felt like I wanted to get on the server today and uh, it seems like DGPVP is having some problems. If I go to a plot mine that I know of... Um, I believe that the plot mines are not actually resetting so I'm not even sure if it's resetting or if it's not but something uh, Something about the mines aren't really uh, getting a reset or something But it looks like here that this mine hasn't been fully mined yet So this one's still working, but if I go to like warp X or something, let's go, let's head on over to warp X I'll just a random warp that I just decided to go to so if I go to warp wait this one doesn't have anything is warp Y <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head on over to warp Y. I don't have any of these mines memorized But I'm not sure if they have finally fixed it But we were there they were having some problems a little bit earlier with the mines But it seems like they might have actually fixed it. So let's check warp Z just to make sure but it, it, earlier earlier today, there was a bunch of the mines were not resetting, but they might have fixed that already. I'm not even 100% positive if they have or if they haven't. This will be the last check right here. If this one is empty, then they still haven't fixed it. Okay, so it seems like they've actually fixed the problem. So that's actually really, really good. So we can be mining... We can be mining for this episode so we can sell some stuff and actually make some moolah. So I don't know why... I'm not picking up the actual items. Okay, there we go. So let's go to let's go back to Imagine Grader's um, plot. But what we're gonna be doing in this episode is we're actually just gonna be doing some mining. I'll be doing some random talking. I might go check out a couple of plot mines uh, later bit later in the episode because I'm not really sure what I even plan on uh, talking about in this episode because uh, I don't really I don't really have anything planned. So, anyways, what we're gonna be talking about or what I'm gonna be trying to just ramble about today is probably the. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys were asking about where I'm from uh, when I moved to the US or like how many times I've moved where I was er from originally and uh, you know I just wanted to give you guys maybe a little bit of information about my background and where I come from I guess you could say where I've where I've been to and where I come from and uh, so just to talk about it for a little bit so where I'm from I'm from the Philippines it's a it's in the Pacific Pacific Ocean it's right next to Japan it's just south of Japan and I was born in the Philippines uh, 1993 so you guys could probably do quick math and that means that I am 20 years old right now I'm 20 years old and basically uh, yeah I, I lived in the Philippines I was born there until I was six years old and um, after after six years old my, my family decided to come to the US to try to start a life over here and uh, From the Philippines. We actually moved to New York now you guys I'm gonna kind of talk about my life story a little bit and this is kind of actually going to um, It's it's kind of a little bit confusing because I did I moved a lot when I was younger I moved like a lot a lot a lot so it's gonna be a little bit confusing Hopefully you guys uh, are able to keep up and stuff and uh, hopefully I can tell you guys a little bit more about my I guess my life I guess <laughs> truly all I have to say but anyway so um, hold on let me get a warp syndicate so I moved to New York when I was six from the Philippines and we moved to we lived in uh, Queens New York for about a year and a half I believe it was so we moved to Queens New York for um, <clears throat> about a year and a half and uh, my dad actually got his job switch like they he was moved to a different um, he was moved to a different location. So what we did was from New York, we actually moved. This was when I was about uh, maybe seven or eight. From New York, we moved to uh, Massachusetts. So I lived in Massachusetts for about three years. And we actually moved a lot. Ar we moved around a lot when I was in Massachusetts. So like I went from like a specific school to another school, like literally almost every school year. I had a new school. I had a new group of friends because it was just really like my dad's job just kept getting switched around by his company. And uh, we were kind of getting annoyed with it. But I mean, there wasn't really anything that we could do at that point. But we just so we moved around a lot. Like I probably moved around a total of maybe 15 or 20 times. In my in my lifetime here in the US and it's not I mean <clears throat> 
excuse me honestly speaking like it's, it hasn't changed me too much but I, I i enjoyed the fact that you know i could meet a whole bunch of new people every single year it was, it was a little tough at times because um you know english is my second language or it was my second language because of you know i lived in the philippines first obviously we spoke our native language over here or over there so learning english for the first couple of years in new york was actually really really difficult for me but uh you know i eventually overcame it learned throughout uh my school experiences exactly how to speak and that's probably why i don't really have much of an accent anymore because i moved here when i was so young so that's kind of uh that's kind of where it all started out and um basically from new from new york we went to massachusetts and then we moved around there and then oops i'm spamming the server oh my lord all right let's go ahead and reconnect to uh dg pvp right here <clears throat> And so I'll just continue my story. So basically after uh, Massachusetts, we moved around there and then uh, my dad got laid off from his job. So like they actually canceled his uh, job contract. Uh, this was when I was when I was about fourth grade, maybe. So I was about fourth grade. Ooh, D Fields X. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and uh, so basically what happened was after we did that, we decided to actually move in with some family members. Now, um, the, the one the one place that we moved to after Massachusetts was obviously Illinois, which is where I'm currently at now. So after Illinois, well, not really after, but in Illinois, I kind of just basically, um, I guess you could say I kind of just basically lived here for, from when I was in fifth grade until I'm in college now. But I have been moving around a lot, as you guys can kind of tell from my stories. I've just been moving around like literally almost every year of my life i've probably moved around at least uh once or twice which is really really it, i mean it, w it was very very hard to get used to at first but i mean in the end it kind of shaped me to becoming who i was and who i am so i mean I, i'm grateful for all the opportunities that were kind of given uh through moving around so i mean that's kind of that's kind of my little childhood story if, if i had to tell one childhood story to you guys that's probably one of the biggest ones just i moved around a lot like literally almost every year maybe once or twice a year and which, which was really really i mean it was hard for me at first but i mean i got used to it over time and it kind of just uh progressed from there so that is my story for today i don't really have any more stories to tell you guys other than those uh, that I just discussed right there but what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this episode is actually I'm going to uh, visit some plots that some people decided or uh, right before this episode started I actually asked some people for some sexy plots and I just took four random names that PM'd me and we're gonna go check out their 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 plots we're gonna go critique it tell me maybe tell them maybe what they can change about it to make it look better and uh, yeah so if you guys in the comment section below uh, before this uh, before I do start this little critiquing process if you guys want me to check out your plot if you have like it needs to be a sexy plot okay it can't be like an empty plot if you guys want me to check out your plot in the comment sections below leave a comment saying what your IGN is so I could do slash plot home and then your IGN and I can check it out and maybe in a future episode I will feature you guys and like just show off what exactly your guys' build is and all that good stuff so yeah we're gonna get right off started but right before we even teleport to the first one somebody okay I have to give a quick shout out to Kiki Kiki the clown and he gave me this fire aspect enchantment level 420 like, I, I don't know what this is. I guess it's like a leaf or a reed or something. Or I think it's grass, maybe. And if I do slash hat with this with this glass or with this grass, you can see that my character now has that grass on its head. <laughs> Which is really, really, really cool. It's kind of it's kind of funny and ironic how that, that happens right there. But anyways, we're going to wear this grass for a little bit while we travel to the people's plot. So the first plot we're going to check out is PH, the one-time keeper. <clears throat> Alright, so this is his plot, and what we're going to be doing for the episode is we're going to check out his plot, and then maybe some surrounding plots around their actual uh, base. So we'll, we'll kind of critique it. So he's got a nice little entrance here. Uh, shop was designed by Customs. I know Custom. He's, he was a donator on my stream a couple days ago. So he's got an OP shop, 100 million for emeralds. He plays 100. If you guys want to sell some emeralds, he's, their, their chests are probably full. But uh, what's it called? You can sell emeralds here for 100 million. So they've got pretty pretty good prices so this is kind of why I wanted to um, 
<clears throat> you know showcase some of these plots he's got a really really nice built small shop here and it's nice and just organized and really really nice well built it's well built that's that's the word i'm looking for and uh let's see what's inside here so the, he's got a nice little room that kind of has an, like more advertisement signs for people to actually you know tell tell them to make signs at specific uh, plots and whatnot so anyway so that's there and then he's got another op shop and oh there's the same op shop so that is his plot it looks pretty nice he's used he's got a nice amount of block usage so he's, he's using almost every single type of block that you can probably build with here it looks really nice nice and simple and i love it so that's pretty pretty good the second shop that i wanted to visit was benton boy 10 <clears throat> all right so we're gonna go ahead and visit his shop let's check it out we'll see what he what he has and what he has done so it looks like he is actually uh just starting out his shop his little plot area here so he's got a plot mine here actually which is really really cool well, i can't mine it but maybe it's just lagging but i can't mine that <clears throat> And then he's got a nice little chest area here. This actually looks really, really cool. Nice little staircase area going down into his chest room. So you can sell emerald blocks to him for 70 million. So this is actually giving some quick shout outs to the people who are actually on the server. So hopefully they appreciate the shout outs. I will be obviously be giving them some business while I'm doing this. So that'll be really cool. That'll be really cool. Uh, he's So he's just starting out. So we can't critique him too much. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So the next one, PH Spy Yoshi. Spy Yoshi plays a lot on the server, and I see I see him on here very, very frequently. It looks like he's got a huge, tall uh, quartz building. Holy moly! Oh, he's got two plots. Oh my gosh, it's lagging a little bit. I'm getting lagged back while I'm trying to check it out his, his other plot. So he's got this plot over here as well, and it look. It, oh, I can't walk into this plot. I think. Oh my lord. There's so many people that are on the server right now that I'm actually starting to lag. Oh my lord, I can't even lag with, log. I can't even talk. I can't even log back in. There we go. Okay, so I can't. I don't have access to that plot. <clears throat> but we'll check out his main plot right here. And I guess this is his shop. But look how tall. Oh, it's not even tall on the inside. Let's just take a quick peek around everywhere. What is over here? I don't see anything inside here so far. Maybe he's, maybe he's still working on it. But he, it looks like he's got a ton of levels. So maybe, maybe it's like hidden up there. Is there like a staircase somewhere? I have no idea, but we'll probably ask him about that another time. But he's got a lot of quartz. Is this his plot too over here? Don't tell me this is his. This is his plot too. And he, oh, okay. So here, here he's got a little bit of a staircase that's kind of just going straight up into the air. And he's buying emerald blocks for a pretty decent price. So if you guys want to come check out Spy Yoshi's plot, they all buy their, their emerald blocks for a pretty decent price. But obviously, come sell it to me first, guys. I am I'm, I love you guys. And uh, you guys have basically filled up my chests. And I've kind of emptied all. I was working on it a little bit off camera earlier. And I've emptied more chests for you guys to sell me more emerald blocks so I can work my way in rank up now right before we check this last plot uh, for today's episode I actually wanted to show you guys my balance so if I do slash bow uh, I have 424 billion and if I do slash rank up I still need another 247 billion so like as you guys can see to get from rank X prime to Y prime I need like about 650 billion dollars oh my lord there's so much money that I have to collect that I'm kind of just working my way using your the stuff that you guys have sent me thank you very much for your your kind donation good sir but anyways we're gonna go ahead and ooh, look at this, this is d field big finay big finay coolinator 2000 big finay big finay <laughs> anyways so right before we check this last plot the last plot is ph bacon kips <clears throat> now let's head on over here so now bacon kips has probably the best one that i've seen uh for today's episode he's got this amazing like floor design i'm probably gonna use this in the future for like some sort of design in one of my faction bases but look at this floor design it's like soul sand or not soul sand uh, what is this called endstone with a uh, chiseled quartz it just looks so nice like nice and clean it's very very bright and he's got his little um he's got his little home here with a bunch of ender chests i don't think i can even use those ender chests but like there's just a lot 
a lot a lot of stuff over here and then if you guys look around his base there's so many cool bases around his actual plot like there's a full-blown castle over here which is really really cool and i just I, there's so much there's so many good builders and i just really wish i could build as well as some of these guys can but thank you guys for watching today's episode i kind of just wanted to feature some of your the players uh plots on here so give me some building ideas as well because i haven't really uh expanded on my excuse me on my plot in a little bit but anyways, I'm really, really hoping that I can get access to this plot. I'm going to be talking to the admin of the server. Hopefully, I can try to get this plot from It's Draco. And I'm pretty sure that he was banned from the server for charging back. So hopefully, I can get this plot right here. And we'll have two plots that are kind of just like right next to each other, which will be really, really cool. So anyways, thank you guys for watching today's uh op prison episode hopefully you guys did enjoy it and if you did make sure you guys smash that like button for me hopefully you guys are a little bit more educated on what i was like when i was younger just moving around and all that good stuff and quick shout outs to all the people all the people's plots that i visited thank you guys for watching today's episode this is d field and as always we will see you guys later